This is Malagrishna Adala, Ashton Professor, Mechanical Engineering Department from Gundur Engineering College, Gundur. Now our lecture on shaper driving mechanisms. So what are the shaper driving mechanisms? The shaper driving mechanisms are mainly three. What are that? In that first one is Whitworth pick written mechanism. Second one is slotted link pick written mechanism. And third one is hydraulic pick written mechanism. In that first one is Whitworth pick written mechanism. In that mainly you can observe. So one of the crank and slotted bar and slider and one pixel link there and connecting rod ram that ram means r1 and r2 r1 and r2 two strokes are there one is the cutting stroke second one is return stroke in that the width of secret mechanism used in shaping and slotting machines the link cd forming the turning pair is a fixed driving crank ca rotates at uniform angular speed and the slider attached to the crank pin it slides along the slotted bar ba which oscillates at d the connecting rod p the connecting rod p are carries the ram at r To which a cutting tool is fixed on the motion of the tool is constrained along the link RP produced. RP produced. And in that, the total length of the stroke, the total length of the stroke is 2PD. That means the length of the stroke is equal to time of cutting stroke by time of return stroke. Then here, Alpha is considered to the time of cutting stroke and beta is considered to the time of return stroke. So the total number of degrees are 360. So we can we know length of the stroke is equal to alpha by 360 minus alpha. And it can be written as 360 minus beta by beta. And coming to the next one is slotted lever mechanism. In that we can observe the four links. What are the four links? One link is a fixed link. Second one is one link is fixed link. Second one is a crank, and third one is a slider, and fourth one is a slotted bar. So in this, it is also used in slotting and shaping machines, and it is <coughs> and in rotary IC engines. In this mechanism, the link AC corresponding to the connecting rod in a fixed that during time CB revolves about the fixed center C and a sliding rod attached to the crank pin at B slides along the slotted bar AP. Here AP here AP oscillates about fixed link A and short link P and short link P and transmit motion from AP to the ram which reciprocates along the line of stroke r1 to r1 to r2 rp1 to p2 so here length of the stroke that means the line of the stroke r1 r2 or length of the stroke r1 r2 is equal to time of cutting stroke by time of return stroke in quick return time of cutting stroke is noted as beta and time of return stroke noted as alpha then the total length of the stroke length of the stroke is equal to p1 p2 then p1 p2 is equal r1 r2 so here that will be noted as a two half of the ap because of a p is two ap cb by AC. This is slotted link written mechanism in shaping machines. And third one is 
hydraulics speed threaten mechanism third one is hydraulic speed threaten mechanisms Third one is hydraulic system for fitting mechanism. So in that, what are the main components? Of shaper head and cutting tool, workpiece, and the operating cylinder and cutting screw, ram, and the speed controllers are there and reservoir and pumping and reserving oil, reserving valve and reserving lever. So these are in a, a typical hydraulic system for the shaper is uh, shown in this figure. Shown in this figure. The ram is driven by position which slides in a cylindrical place on the ram. The oil under a high pressure is pumped by the gear pump behind the piston. With the movement of piston, the ram moves forward and the oil in the left side of the cylinder goes back to the tank. At the end of forward stroke, the one end of the drug hits the controlling lever which causes the valves to change their positions. And now the oil under high pressure is pumped to the left side of cylinder causing the ram to perform return stroke on the oil in the right side return back to the tank. At the end of return stroke, the another drug hits the reserving and hits the reversing lever which again changes the valve position and thus the direction of stroke. At the end of return stroke, end the dog hits the reversing lever, which again changes the valve position and thus the direction of stroke. And the quick return motion is affected due to the difference in volume of oil at both sides. The same amount of oil is pumped to the right or left hand side of the cylinder. This causes the oil pressure to rise the left side due to the presence of piston rod and will increase the speed during return stroke and the length and position of stroke is adjusted by shifting the dogs the cutting speed may be changed by regulating the flow of oil by means of a throttle valve so this is hydraulic kick mechanism thank you